What is up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. I hope all of you guys are having an excellent week. You guys are doing great. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys have been playing lately. Now's definitely a very exciting time to be a gamer. Last year, of course, was a hardware year for Sony. They, of course, released the PlayStation VR, the PlayStation 4 Slim, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Nintendo, very exciting time for them because in March, less than two months, they're going to be revealing or releasing the Nintendo Switch, which a lot of people are super excited for. Switch is sold out pretty much everywhere. Really hard to get the system. I am sure a lot of people are maybe resorting to scalpers on eBay or other places to get a Switch and paying crazy prices. And then, of course, you have a lot of people who are excited for Project Scorpio or Xbox Scorpio because it's going to be the most powerful gaming console in the world. And, you know, the past couple months, the Xbox division has repeatedly talked about how Xbox Scorpio is going to play games in native 4K. A lot of people have been kind of doubting that or not too sure about that, mainly because even if you have like the most one of the most powerful gaming cards like the GTX 1080, um, you for some games, you even kind of struggle at playing games at native 4K at uh, 60 frames per second. And some people are like, well, you know, Project Scorpio will play games in native 4K, but it won't really hit the 60 frames per second. And it's been going back and forth, like, no, it's going to be 60 frames per second. But recently, uh, there's been a lot of controversy because there's been some apparent leaks on the actual hardware specifications on the on the Project Scorpio. And they're like, I don't know if this, this is going to happen. If, if these are the real specs, I'm not sure if... Project Scorpio is going to be able to play games in native 4K. So Phil Spencer was recently challenged on Twitter. I'll show you what this tweet was. Uh, no more native 4K is running around. Maybe some explanations, please. Thank you. So, of course, for the past couple months, Xbox Division has been saying a lot, native 4K, native 4K. But recently, they've been kind of quiet. And so this Twitter user is going, hey, you guys... You know, now that you kind of realize that this might not be able to happen, you haven't been touting this, can we please get an explanation on this? Phil Spencer actually replies beautifully, and he says, Honestly, my focus is just on getting games ready to show and play. That will be the explanation. I am confident in the results. So, of course, millions of people speculating who have no idea actually what this machine actually is. Phil Spencer not only has seen the hardware, not only is he working with developers who are currently making games for the Scorpio, like games that are going to take advantage of the Project Scorpio, say for instance like Crackdown 3, so he's, he's, he's seen what the hardware is going to be, he's talked with the developers, associates with them constantly, not only that, he's actually played games on this hardware, and he's very, as he says, he is confident in the results. And so, great response by uh, Mr. Spencer. And uh, I would imagine that very soon we're going to be getting a reveal on a comparison with the games and how they perform on the Project Scorpio versus just the standard Xbox One S in terms of, of the resolution. And I'm hoping also that this just isn't, just isn't a resolution game. I'm also hoping that it's also going to involve an increased frame rate for some of these games like oh you know what this game on the xbox one s it plays on 30 30 frames per second but with the project scorpio you'll be able to play games at 60 frames per second because i know obviously you know people are really excited about resolution but for me i'm really excited when you know games can play and hit that 60 frames per second you know for me honestly you know, I would prefer actually uh, an increased frame rate for a better experience, but that's just me. Increased resolution and frame rate all in one package, that would be fantastic. But I, I would prefer, you know, straight up a frame rate increase. But uh, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Xbox Scorpio if you're excited for it and, uh, and your thoughts with the whole uh, 4K gaming. And, you know, again, I would imagine in the near future we're going to be seeing, very near future, I would I would hope before E3, maybe we're going to have to wait till E3, but I would hope before E3 we're going to get some type of reveal of uh, how the games play, how they look, and also what the console looks like. It was funny, I remember when the um, PlayStation 4 
was officially revealed, they actually didn't show the console. They just said, this is the PlayStation 4, and it's coming out. And uh, But, you know, and, and when that happens, it was funny because um, Xbox's Major Nelson saw it, and he tweeted out, he said, like, you know, oh, you know, revealing a, a... Major Nelson usually doesn't talk like this, but he's like, oh, revealing a console but not showing the console, that's interesting. So I'd imagine... You know Xbox. They, uh, I, I would imagine they'll they'll actually show the console and what it looks like. And not only that, what's going to be very very important, I think, what's going to really push this console to the next level and get it into a lot of hands. It being the most con powerful console of all time, what is going to be the price point? Um, really, really, really hoping it's not five hundred dollars more. If they can get this thing. At 400 to 450, that'd be amazing. But I'm not sure with all these, you know, if it's going to be the most powerful console of all time. It's going to be if it's going to be a lot more powerful than PS4 Pro. Uh, if they're going to sell it at a decent price point, I would imagine they're going to have to sell the console at a loss. I'm not sure if they're going to be selling the console at a, at a loss. But uh, guys, let me know your thoughts on uh, Xbox Scorpio or Project Scorpio, and uh, if you're excited for it, if you're interested in it, uh, or if you're just going to you know stick with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, or your gaming PC. But uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.